Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Adam and the Smartphone Guy here to do my full review of the Moto G4 Play. So this is a phone that I have had for roughly about three weeks. I picked this up on Black Friday for $35 from Best Buy. This is the Verizon version. Um, if you're gonna get the fully unlocked version, you're looking at about $100 on Amazon uh, for their ad-supported version. And I believe you can actually get this phone on Motorola's website right now for $100. So the regular price of this phone is $150, um, but I believe you can get it for $100 on Motorola's website right now. Or the, the Amazon ad-supported version is always $100. So I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for that. Um, but with that being said, I've been using this phone for about three weeks as a Wi-Fi uh, phone primarily. Um, so I've been using it as a Wi-Fi device during that time. And uh, so I think after three weeks, I have some pretty good insights that I can share with you um, about the Moto G4 Play. And uh, let's just start with this. Spoiler alert, this is a budget phone done right. Um, so let's talk about why I think that is. So uh, let's talk about, first of all, the build quality. So we have a 720p screen, and honestly, there's a 5-inch 720p screen. And honestly, you can tell um, it's definitely not 1080p. It's definitely not a 2K display um, because you can see pixels. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. It looks like a nice screen. It's not like a terrible screen by any means. But um, if you're somebody who's used to a 1080p or a... 2K display, you will definitely see pixels. Um, but again, for me, you know, honestly, it doesn't matter a whole lot. I, I like how it looks. Let's go here and I don't know, even know what this is. So AndroidAuthority.com, bring it up. And yeah, so I mean, when you're looking at really small text, you'll notice the pixels and it's not as clean as you would get. Actually, hey, look, it's, I was just looking up the apparently the Moto G4 Play at some point, $35 deal alert. Okay, but that deal is gone, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, that was for Cyber Monday. Um, but anyways, uh, the hardware, so we got that screen, the five inch screen, we got the front facing speaker, we got our five megapixel camera on the front with a flash up there. Um, nope, that's not a flash, I'm lying about that. That's not really a flash, that's actually the camera. And uh, on the back, we got an eight megapixel camera and that is an actual flash, we got a microphone there. And uh, we got our micro USB here and the back is removable. And yes, you can remove the battery as well. And down here we got our micro SIM and a spot for a micro SD expansion. So this is a 16, uh, 16 gigabyte version of the phone. And I think that's actually the only version you can get. And uh, yeah, so it comes with two gigs of RAM as well um, and the Snapdragon 410 processor. And I'm gonna be honest with you and say that this phone is pretty darn snappy. Um, it's not, you know, it's certainly not like a budget phone where you feel like, oh my gosh, this thing won't ever move. You know, like this thing really is quite snappy. So, um, in terms of gaming, uh, you know, I've, I've been playing a, a number of games on it, but I mean, this is one of my favorite ones, this hill climber. So that actually brought it back up right to where I had it last. Um, but anyways, yeah, gaming on this phone isn't too bad as long as you're not playing a super, heavy game um, but even even some of the heavier games you're going to lose some frames but you're not going to it's it doesn't make the games unusable which is really nice um so definitely performance wise and hardware wise yeah, i mean it's a plastic back um, it kind of reminds me honestly of like the old s4 samsung galaxy s4 in terms of like the feel in the hand um but yeah i mean Performance wise, definitely a pretty snappy phone, especially for a hundred bucks. You can't go wrong with that. Um, that Snapdragon 410 processor on this phone really hums. And uh, the software, let's talk about that. Motorola for me is the OEM that just absolutely does software right. So if you go into the settings, so let's pull this down, you can see that it, it's obviously quite stock Android. I'm going to go in here and you'll see that uh, we have Android, do, 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 do. Where is it at? 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So we'll touch here and there we go. So there's some Marshmallow Joy. And uh, that's the thing about Motorola that I really love. They really don't change much 
about Android and what they do change, they do right. I, I just like that about the phone. So one thing that is missing with the G4 Play that you get with the G4 and uh, the G4 Plus is some of the gestures that use the gyroscope. So for instance, um, with the G4 or the G4 Play, you could double chop and it would turn on the flashlight. Well, this doesn't have the gyroscope and so it can't do that. So you're missing a few of the nice things, the nice tweaks that uh, Motorola adds, um, but you still get, obviously you can see that screen on um, where if it notices that your hand is near the phone, it will turn the screen on and give you some notifications as well. So that's nice. Um, that, that part I do appreciate about Motorola. So uh, we've talked about software, we've talked about build, we've talked about performance. Let's talk about battery life on this phone. Battery life on this phone, this is a 2800 milliamp hour battery and you can see that it was removable there. Um, but man, this thing will last. And uh, so on an average day or on average usage, I shouldn't say a day, um, for most people, I would say you're really easily going to get through a day um, unless you are heavily gaming all day or just using the phone like crazy. You will definitely get through a day. Um, for me, uh, I was averaging about six hours of screen on time and sometimes even more. If I was just gaming with it, like that's the only thing I was doing with this phone, um, then I might only get around five hours. But still, five hours of screen on time is pretty solid for a 2800 milliamp hour battery. So you can see, you know, I've been using it on st cell standby because I'm using it primarily as just a Wi-Fi device and to play some games on for fun. Um, so that's at an hour of screen on time. And if I look at my battery percentage right now, I'm at 71%. Um, so yeah, definitely going to get around uh, six hours again. So battery life on this thing is definitely a thumbs up and really two thumbs up. I definitely give it a two thumbs up there. So let's talk about the cameras because that's another important aspect of a phone for a lot of people. Um, the cameras here are not going to wow you. So that eight megapixel camera on the back, five megapixel on the front. Um, the the cameras take it takes okay shots. Um, they're definitely going to be grainy. It's eight, again, it's eight megapixel. Um, so you're not going to get anything amazing out of it. Let's go ahead and take a quick picture of that. So one thing I, I will notice or will say about that is that when you zoom in, of course, you know, with it only being eight megapixel, it's going to get pretty grainy. Um, so it's not going to take super detailed shots from a distance. They look fine. And it reminds me a lot of like an old iPhone five camera. Um, hey, you can actually see I might have even shot this video about the tick watch with the G4. It's kind of amazing. Um, it looks like it might have even done that one with it too. Um, but yeah, so in terms of the camera, you know, it's it's taking some decent pictures. But again, that's the front facing camera. Um, so definitely you can see that's a pretty grainy shot. L it lacks some detail there. Um, so nothing special, but also not a horrible camera either. Again, I, I think for what you're going to use this for primarily, I think for the most part, this is a phone that you're going to pick up for somebody who is a sm first uh, smartphone user. So for kids, I think this phone is going to do really well. It's definitely going to get them through the day. They can do some gaming on it and uh, it performs very, very well. So it's not going to be one of those cheap Android phones because there are cheap, crappy Android phones out there that are just going to give you a super frustrating experience. I've had those before. I've reviewed some like that before. This is not it. This is not that cheap, crappy Android phone that's running old software. This is a good phone that just happens to be inexpensive um, and it's a budget phone done right, in my opinion. So I, I can't say that enough. It's a budget phone done right. And Motorola just over and over and over proves that they know how to do budget phones the right way. And this is just another example of Motorola proving that they are the king of budget phones. That's just my opinion. So the cameras are definitely not a high point, but in terms of performance, in terms of battery life, um, I would say build quality is probably like a meh, it's, it's okay. Um, definitely not amazing. Um, but battery life, um, performance on this phone are definitely two of the areas that I would say are, are top. And uh, really, if you're thinking about, you know, just a, you know, maybe a second device just to have as a backup, this is definitely a fantastic phone for that. Um, and if you get the unlocked version, which the Amazon $100 version is, um, man, you're getting a phone that will work on any network. So you can carry this phone over to whatever network you want to, and it's going to work. That's awesome. And it's only a hundred dollars 
And it really does everything that you really, I mean, if you're thinking about, you know, what you really do with a smartphone, there isn't a whole lot that this won't do. Obviously, there's no NFC. Um, it is actually splash proof. You don't want to go swimming with it by any means, but it is splash proof. Um, so just all around, this is a fantastic device for $100. It's definitely not a flagship phone. Let me get that straight. Not a flagship phone, but it's a very good phone for $100. So that concludes this review of the Moto G4 Play. If you have any questions about this device, go ahead and leave those in the comments. As always, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.